Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hollemeyer. Today we're gonna to make this really cool snowflake craft and we are going to use toilet paper tubes and we're gonna cut them into the shape of a biconvex lens. That's a shape from physics where there's force being exerted kind of on the outside of this shape here. That force is what's going to help the glue stick between the pieces and glue this snowflake shape together. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need about a toilet paper tube and a half. So if you're doing this with a class of 30 kids, think you're gonna need 45 toilet paper tubes. It helps to have some wax paper, glitter, you're gonna need some liquid glue, and then it's helpful too to have some extra sheets of paper or a brush and some paper plates to kind of spread the glitter and the glue out on. Um, and then some string if you wanna hang it. So let's go ahead and get started to make this cool snowflake craft. Okay, so I have my toilet paper tubes here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to flatten it a bit, and then I'm going to cut this into six pieces. So to help me get the proportions or the math right, I'm going to take and cut the toilet paper tube in half first, and then think that each half has to be cut two more times to make three equal portions. So if you want to, you could take a pencil and you could kind of mark that out first if that helps you and then kind of step back and say, okay, are these three pieces equal? They approximately are. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut. And I'm going to do that with the other piece here as well. All right, so now that I have these six pieces, I'm gonna glue them together here in a minute on my wax paper. And I like the wax paper because when I use my liquid glue, it's easy to take this off. But what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to cut this one in half, do the same thing. And then I'm going to cut three more of these, but then I'm going to cut them in half again. So in other words, I'm now going to cut them like this. All right, and those will come into play later. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my liquid glue and I'm going to use just a dot of glue, put it on each side here where that biconvex line shape is starting to widen and I'm going to push together like this, making sure that they're all kind of coming to a point in the middle. We're using some radial symmetry here, right? And so I'm gonna put a dot on this one, dot on that, put that together like that. And that way if the glue drips down, um, it will easily come off the wax paper later. Now, as you can see, I could choose to do this in fifths too. So maybe I leave out the sixth one and this is gonna be in fifths instead of sixths. So again, we're using proportions here and we're using fractions for a snowflake or radial symmetry. Maybe I'll leave it just like that. And now I'm going to take these and I'm going to put glue on these, put them like that, and then just kind of nestle this in there like that until it gets stuck. And I'm trying to put the glue on these pieces. And this is why I kind of like liquid glue actually, because you're gonna have to do some shuffling here a little bit where this piece starts to get wider. Whoops. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna let this dry, I would say, for at least two hours. And I'm just gonna kind of pinch it here in the middle to make sure these are all really touching and they're all really solid. All right, now I made this one earlier and it's already dry. You can tell this one I did in sixths. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my liquid glue and on a piece of paper or on a plate, I'm gonna put like a good puddle of glue. All right, so kind of, I don't know, like that size. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to rub that glue out and kind of spread it around. I kind of found that this method worked a little bit better than just brushing it on. So now I'm going to take this spread 
You want to make sure you get it all the way to the ends of the snowflake, all the way to the tips. And you can see this is why you want to make sure it's really dry before you do this, otherwise it'll fall apart. Now I'm going to take the second plate. I'm going to just sprinkle some glitter on there. Take this, dive it into that glitter. Kids love glitter. Adults, maybe not so much, but kids love glitter. And voila, look at how pretty that looks. So now the fun part, you could let this dry before you attempt the other side or only do one side, but you now I'm going to attempt to do the other side. I may need to add a little bit more glue and a pinch here, rub. Sometimes if you do this before this is dry on this side, some of your glitter comes off because obviously you've got to pinch it somewhere, right? Rub, take my glitter. Oh, so this is where you can see I didn't get some spots, right? So this is where sometimes it is kind of helpful to have a brush. You can brush that glue on from your plate and then do it again. Um, or, you know, you could just try to go like this too. Stick it on. If it drips down, you know, no biggie. And then just sprinkle more glitter on there. All right, and that's pretty much it. That's how we get this really cool, pretty snowflake design with our biconvex lens made from our toilet paper tubes. I hope you enjoyed this easy ornament, this holiday craft or winter craft, and I'll see you next time on Art Recycled. Bye.